All right. American fishing bass, so old daddy fisherman coming to you. Going did a little thing about us a knot and got a big, big, big output from it from my people at Facebook stuff and YouTube. And I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna start here with the old sailor's hot plate, hot pad. Right. This time we're gonna do the dropper loop. That's dropper loop. It forms a loop and a line for an attachment for a hook or another line or lead, whatever, just etc. But the thing about knots is, let's get this right. You just take old string and tie it like that and you tie a knot on something, right? Then when pressure is applied to that, that shrinks up, it'll snap that line. It makes your line a lot less pounded than it was to begin with. So the thing about an adequate knot is it does not lower the quality of your or the poundage of your line you use. So we're gonna do a dropper, a dropper, a dropper loop. Got a line, don't have to have the ends. Just grab it and make your circle in it. Take that circle and wrap that baby. Now it's supposed to be five times, but this is a pretty big rope. It ain't monofilament, so let me show you. I'm gonna wrap it about three. Then you pull that up through the wrap it about three then pull that through the middle now when it cinches down which you need five now when it cinches down it'll cinch down tight like that like I said it's a big rope but when you get her cinched down it won't have no bearing on the rope then you can attach your hook or whatever right there like for reef fishing and stuff you can just run that right through the eye of your hook over the hook and back out and it's hanging on there boy sweet dropper loop thank you very much